We are here at TPC Sawgrass in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida. Rich Lerner, pleased as always to be alongside Frank Navalo for EA Sports. Set to bring you all the action. Frank, what are the keys to success around the stadium course? Staying dry is one thing, Rich. Water is uh, everywhere. It's uh, tempting. It's uh, punishing. And also, remember, ever since this golf course was established back in 1980, we've seen every type of player win this, from the straight to the long. But the only common denominator out of all the champions that have graced this great golf course is nerve and the ability to finish. First hole here at TPC Sawgrass, 423 yard par four. Nice way for players to get started, Frank. Not too demanding, but still, it requires that you put the golf ball off the tee in the right place. Uh, that's correct, Rich. Uh, there is a little bit of water down the right, but that's only really for the grandmothers in the field. Anybody else, drive it down the left, three wood, even a two on if you're a longer hitter, and then a good chance to start with an opening birdie. He'll need to be strong with this. safely on deck. I mean, this skill and that, that was sublime. Just good hands coming out of the rough, able to manage the distance and now in great position. Minus one, and I'm really going. Second hole here at Sawgrass, 532 yard par five. Frank, considered one of the easier holes on the golf course, is that right? Yeah, you don't have to hit it miles down there. Anything that turns a little to the player's left certainly helps. There are some trees down the left side, just want to avoid those. Game's about rhythm. It, when you have good rhythm, it just looks effort, effortless. To hit the ball 300 yards through the air, that easy. This could be a huge momentum swing here, Frank. Yeah, one more good swing, and he's going to have an eagle putt coming up. I know you don't want to get ahead of yourself, but that is well on the cards. <laughs> Crucial eagle attempt on the way. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Go ahead and do that. What a putt. Setting up for the third hole here at TPC Sawgrass, relatively short par three at 177 yards. But you've got to carry that ball at least four or five yards onto this green, even when it's firm. Hide the flagstick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable. That that never deviated offline. Drops another birdie and moves to four under on the day. Frank, how would you describe the bunker all along the right here at number four? Well, it's just, it looks like it never stops. It covers really the, the entire length of that tee shot down the right side. Oh, look out, Frank. Where's this one headed? Uh, this is definitely rough, Rich, off the tee. 80 yards to the flagstick, Frank. You want to get to what they call the gauntlet, 16, 17, and 18, with a chance. 16 is the reachable par five. You can make eagle there. And then the final two holes, you just want to steer clear of trouble, though. With bold play, and you mentioned it with Craig Perch, you could make birdies. It really is a case of mind over matter when you look at those holes. You're right, if you took away the water, you'd think they're three nice holes. But it wouldn't be the same. You intimidate the player as he as he plays 15. He's well aware of the finishing three holes. 
Let the booty blitz begin. Now to the fifth. This long par four thought to be one of the most difficult holes on the front side here at the TPC Sawgrass. Yeah, if you've got plenty of length in the bag, you can almost take it directly over the bunker on the right. But if you're not as long, you have to air down that left side. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. And from the rough, he manages to not only make the green, but get within easy striking distance of the hole. This is impressive, now six under par, two straight birdies. Frank, what are the players facing here at the 6th, 393-yard par 4? Ideally, you just want to hit that ball about 250 yards. It's going to leave you a shot of sort of 140 yards in. Then the green looks quite big because you're far enough back that those palm trees don't become a problem. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. So a chance for Birdie after another solid approach shot. Frank, you think he can do it four in a row? No. Good read, good line. Well played. Seventh hole here at TPC Sawgrass generally plays into the wind, one of the stadium course's most difficult greens to hit, Frank. It's a really weird tee shot here. You have those three little pot bunkers down the right, and then that bunker that meanders once again all the way down the left side, a bunker that's just slightly right of the canal. Very awkward angle off the tee. Can't ask for much more here at the seventh. He has hit a good one. Setting up for another approach, our featured golfer has continued that excellent play from earlier in the round. Indeed, there's no better feeling in the world than when you know you're firing on all cylinders. Hitting fairways, second shot's just going straight at the flag. Right now, everything is working. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Oh, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Rich, I'm starting to lose count. This is just birdie after birdie. It's all time stuff. I mean, this is territory we just don't visit very often. Moves to minus eight. Frank 17 here at TPC Sawgrass gets all the attention when you look at the par threes, justifiably so. But number eight is a daunting challenge in its own right. It is longest of the four par threes. Plus, it's just littered with bunkers around the side, the back, and the front. should be pretty good right there on the safe side superb shot once again and only about 15 feet away for a birdie just needs to keep it steady here over the putt
Just a little too much juice on that birdie putt, Frank. It was bald. Very bald. It's Spieth now for par. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, now at the ninth, this really is one of my favorite par fives in the entire sport. And uh, I certainly enjoy watching people play it today, Rich. Uh, it used to be unreachable, but the longer hitters now, uh, we're starting to see them go for this par five regularly in two. And the reason why they start to hit the drive more down the right now than what they used to. People used to try and go down the left side. The right side, it hugs the water, but you get a better view of the second shot. Well, this one is, is offline just a bit. Look out. I mean, that one is going to end up in the rough. Oh, and it gets a good kick. It's only in the first cut. Not too That's bad. not too bad. Frank, I like the way he sort of starts his swing a little bit on the outside and then drops it right on plane. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. Over the putt, this is Jordan Speed. You may have lost track at home, but we're keeping count, and that is nine under for the day. Well, that about wraps things up for us here today. I'd like to thank my partner, Frank Nobolo. Enjoyed it, Frank. Certainly did, Rich. Once again, the golf course provided more than a stern test. And for the entire team, I'm Rich Lerner. Until next time.